dollar gap and expand services. From WROC in Rochester, this is News 8 at 6 in high definition. Good evening, everyone. A violent weekend in a Rochester neighborhood has left residents there stunned. One man is dead and two other people wounded after two separate shootings on the very same street. Rochester police are looking to see if there's a connection between Saturday's homicide and Sunday's double shooting, both happening on the city's west side on Depew Street. Tina Shively joins us now with how the violence is impacting neighbors. A lot of emotion out there today. Absolutely, Tina. Maureen. People continue to come by and leave candles and messages for the victim killed on Depew Street on Saturday night. Many neighbors I spoke with say those involved don't even live on their street, adding this type of violence won't be tolerated. Two shootings, two days, three victims. For many who live here on Depew Street, the violence is a call to action. Deborah Miller was home on Saturday night when the man family identified as Demetrius Everett was gunned down. I heard a couple of shots and then the next thing I seen was police officers. Sunday night, friends and family held a vigil in his honor. Stop the violence! Stop the killing! But it did not quiet the tension. And it was all, you know, stop the violence, stop the violence, and then the next minute, more gunshots and two more shots. Those victims were taken to Strong Hospital. It's more than just gunshots, it's drugs, it's, it's violence, it's, it's an anger that's way out of control. No one knows that better than this man who identified himself only as Jay. After Deborah told me about her fears for a street she's lived on for a quarter century, he stepped in to speak with her and to pray for the homicide victim, his uncle. Minutes later, Jay told me why he keeps coming back to the still burning candles on the sidewalk. I just wanted to show my face on TV, man. Let the people know, man. Whoever did it, man. Y'all left my man out with kids. Now that now my man kids gotta be raised without a father. Jay is 18, has a child, and was also shot in the neighborhood several years ago. Lost and missing his uncle, he wants more out of his life so it won't end in tragedy. Deborah had some advice. Just told me, you know what I'm saying? Just Get out of here, you know what I'm saying? Make a better life for yourself, college or whatever. I just look at it like young people are reaching out for love, but they're reaching out for love in the, in the wrong places. For now, this place will watch and wait and look for some answers of its own. On Depew Street, Tina Shively, News 8. In a new development, four men are taking plea deals in the gold for cash robbery.